Hey guys, before we get to the video, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Josh with Griffin here and the new HVAC guide. Wanted to do a video based on a question I got recently and I kind of forwarded them to a couple different videos of mine, but none of those kind of answered the question specifically. And the question was, hey, can you explain outdoor units, heat pumps, air conditioners, and what the difference is between the stages and inverters and all that good stuff. So I wanted to do just a real quick, simple video answering that question specifically. And I think if you think about this, never mind what you have inside, whether or not it's a, you know, a, an air handler that's, you know, single stage or whether it's variable speed or whatever inside, I'm not going to go over that. We'll do a separate video on just that. And in fact, I did, did a, I did a long, long video going through everything. Uh, so look that up, but I'm also going to do just a real quick to the point video that, you know, if you're just comparing systems, it gets right to the point. So I'm not talking about that. I'm also not going to go through furnaces and what the difference is between single and two stage and modulating and all that. We're not talking about any of that in this video. Just to make it real simple, if you're comparing apples to apples, two different quotes, two different systems, I don't care what the SEER ratings are, I don't care any of that. I'm gonna, I'm just get right to the point here. Of course, I just now went a long time to get to the point, right? But to make it real simple for you, we're gonna talk about the three different types of systems real quick. The first one being single stage. So back in the day, especially when I first started, there was, I would say the majority, 90% of the systems would be what we would call single stage systems. And what that means is it was either on or off, okay? So just like if you had a light switch on your wall and you turn it on and the light turns on at 100% brightness or it's off, you flip it down and it's off, completely off, and there's no in-between, it's either on or off. That would be what I would call a single stage compressor, single stage heat pump, single stage air conditioner, okay? So there's no in-between, it's not trying to save energy in any way, uh, it's just on and it's providing you air conditioning or of course a heat pump, it could also provide some heat. That would be, of the three systems, that would be the first one. The second one's pretty easy to understand because it's, it, instead of just a single stage, it can be a multi-stage, it could be a two-stage, three-stage, there's several different types of systems out there that can be a multi-stage of some kind. And I'm just gonna focus on a two stage for now. And all that is, is if you imagine, imagine if this is your two stage, 100% capacity, and that would be your second stage running with a two stage compressor. The first stage could be say running at 70%, okay? A two stage would be off, 100% on, or somewhere in between. And so it makes it a two stage system there, right? And then if you have, say, a three-stage system, you're just adding another stage in there. So you got a compressor that could be off 100% capacity and then maybe some, you know, percentages of running. And the idea, obviously, is, let's go back to the two-stage. The idea is, instead of running at 100% capacity, it could run at a lower capacity, slower running, less energy consumption, but maybe it's a milder day and you don't need 100% capacity. You don't need that big spike in energy as it gets up and rolling. And then the last of these three, so let's go back to our three. We got our single stage, multi-stage, and the last one would be an inverter system. And there's actually different types of inverter systems right now. You know, you've got Bosch and some of these companies that are making inverter systems that just ramp up and down based on what they're seeing. You know, it the Bosch system specifically only measure what the coil temperature or the suction pressure coming back is and will ramp up and down based on that. And then you have other systems that are communicating. Systems that the two units, the indoor, outdoor, and even the thermostat can all kind of talk to one another, tell each other, hey, here's what I'm seeing, ramp up, ramp down, that sort of deal. And so imagine your compressor, you know, getting back to our compressor where, you know, like we had the two stage type of deal. Well, an inverter system can go up and down based on what it's calling for. Okay. 
You see a lot of ductless systems that are inverter type compressors. You see a lot of higher sear systems. So if we're talking about a conventional system, uh, you see a lot of higher sear systems. There'll be inverter systems. But ultimately, an inverter system is going to be more efficient. I don't care what the sear ratings are. It's going to be more efficient than any sort of stage system. So what I mean by that is there are inverter systems on the market that are only, say, 17 sear. And then there are multi-stage systems on the market that might even have a higher sear, but that inverter system is still technically going to be more efficient. And I'm sure there's going to be people that argue with me about that, but the bottom line is that inverter system can at times be just barely running and still removing moisture from the home, still providing comfort, still cooling the space, but just be barely running and multi-stage systems or even a single stage system obviously can't do that. Again, if you're comparing apples to apples and you say two-stage compressor heat pump and it's 17 sear versus an inverter system that is 17 sear and it can ramp up and down, that inverter system is going to be more efficient than the two-stage system, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. I wanted to break it down a little bit, but get to the point in that inverter systems are more efficient than multi-stage systems, and multi-stage systems are more efficient than single-stage systems. So hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching. The last thing I'll say is if you're in the market for a new heating and air system, and you're in Virginia in the Middle Peninsula or the Northern Neck, Give Griffin Air a call. We'll give you a free estimate and the best warranty in the area. But if you're not in our coverage area, check out my new website. I've even got a little banner up here, newhvacguide.com. Check out that site because we've put so much information on there. It's as if I wrote a book telling folks, hey, here's the good and the bad avoid this or that. I've even got a whole page called no-nos, things to stay away from. And so before you spend thousands, check out that website. And finally, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.